What's going on, guys? Happy Easter if you celebrate, and if you don't, then get the f <laughs> Just kidding. Um, today I'm trying to get some work done before family comes over for Easter, and that entails getting some writing done for my senior thesis. The senior thesis has to do with um, scattering electrons off of positrons, but describing it mathematically. And one of the ways that I do that is by solving the Schrodinger equation for a given potential. And the method that I use to solve the Schrodinger equation is called Numerop method. So that's just this numerical method that solves second order differential equations that just so happen to look like the Schrodinger equation. So today what I want to get knocked out is writing the appendix for my thesis. So I want to derive Numerop method in there. I want to practice deriving it because I'm going to have to defend my senior thesis. So someone, I don't know, I just better over prepare for that. Uh, and then I also want to derive the static potential for hydrogen, which is the test case that I've been testing my code against. So I didn't just start off by writing a code to solve a problem that hadn't been solved before. I made sure that my code works for problems that we do know the answer for already. And if you've been keeping up with these kinds of videos, my code finally works for the static potential of hydrogen. It gives me the right wave function, gives me the right phase shift. Uh, next is to just calculate the actual triple differential cross sections. We'll probably get to that this week. So if any of you are interested, I use Tech Studio to write my paper. I mean, it's I said in another video that LaTeX is the industry standard, but there's like a million different types of LaTeX. I use Tech Studio. I think it's the most user friendly. You know what? Not everyone is familiar with LaTeX. A lot of people who watch these videos are in high school, so they might not even know what it is. Let me show you a quick example of just how to I guess write up an equation in LaTeX. It looks, it always looks beautiful whenever you do it. So let's let's do this. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this file thing here and go to New from Template. This is all done in Tech Studio. So go to New from Template. I, I always use the article, and here we have just a bare bones template of something that's going to look like something that you could have an article. If you hit Compile, which is this kind of double play button. It just gives you something to look at on the right side of the screen. Uh, so let's erase the abstract part and let's, in this section here, this is where we can title a certain section. So let's just call this math stuff. And if you run it, it's just going to give you a title, math stuff. Let's begin an equation. So if you want to begin an equation, you have to declare that that's what you're doing. Okay, equation, and it's going to give you this box that says content, and that's where you have to type all of the equation stuff in it. You can do equations anywhere else, uh, but I'll show you what you have to add to that in order for it to recognize it if you write it outside of a begin equation section. Ooh, go away. What is that? Okay, let's, uh, yesterday I did a video on the infinite square well. Let's just write out the equation for that in here. So in LaTeX, whenever you want to use Greek letters or really any kind of equation thing ever, you start it off with a backslash. So you backslash and then type out the name of the letter. So we're going to do psi of x equals root 2 over a sine and pi x over a. So if we do that, we literally write psi, and that's going to give us the Greek letter psi lowercase. Let's just run it. See? And, yep. Okay, and then... Um, we're just going to do psi of x <clears throat> equals backslash. We want to do a square root now. So for in LaTeX, that's just sq and then rt. So a little pop-up thing will come up. We're going to double click on that. And the thing on the inside, we're going to do a fraction, which is backslash frac. We get another window that pops up that has numerator and denominator. And we're going to have 2, whoops, 2 and a. Okay, let's see what this looks like real quick. Really boring. Cool. Next, we want to say that this is multiplied by the sine of n pi x over a. So if you do multiply, you could do x or whatever. You could also do backslash c dot, and that's going to have just a little dot product looking thing. And you could type out sine of x. You could do that, but it's going to be italicized. So if you want it all to be a consistent font, you use backslash sign and then we're going to add another fraction and then we're going to do 2 no n backslash pi because pi is a Greek letter x all over a 
And there we have the wave function for the infinite square well. I'm not a huge fan of that dot there, so I'm just going to get rid of it, but this is the general way of how I type up equations in LaTeX. Now, if I need to reference it in actual writing, sometimes I won't do the begin equation like that. What I'll do is I'll show, uh, we could be in the same section, but if you want to have an equation in the same body of like a paragraph or something like that, what I do is you do a little dollar sign, and that lets LaTeX know that I'm, this is an equation. So I could do the same thing, dollar sign, and then put in the same thing, and then end it with another dollar sign. Let's see what happens when we do this. We get the same equation, only it doesn't reference it as being equation one. If we got rid of the dollar sign, we'll get an error. It'll still compile, but we'll get an error in LaTeX. Okay, so you can't forget the dollar signs. That's all I wanted to say. But my day is going to consist a lot of doing this, then going and eating stuff with family. Speaking of, they're about to be here, so this video is going to be cut pretty short. Um, as for, so, because I didn't do particularly well on my last quantum exam, it's starting to be really apparent that this stuff, I wouldn't say it's getting in the way, but it's getting in the way. So I don't know if I'll continue doing the daily upload uploads of these. Uh, so I probably won't do another video until maybe sometime next week. Uh, I hope you guys understand. It's just, it's not, it can't be a priority right now. So I hope you guys found this video a little bit interesting. Hope you guys also have a good Easter if you're celebrating. And I'll see you next time. Ha! <laughs> Got <he! laughs>